Well guys, welcome back to the garage, man. So you guys actually asked me to do a lot of things. I, I read the comments. There's a lot of stuff I'm not gonna do. I am not going to paint or name my frog. If you want a name for the frog, call it frog, you know? <laughs> I'm also not gonna be changing the fenders on my bike, man. Pops is gonna stay the way he is. And for the love of God! No, you guys cannot have Toby's sperm. <laughs> no, I'm not making it up. I get messages of that all the time. People wanted me to let Toby knock their dog up, bro. <laughs> but you know what I will do? I'm down to do some work on Khaki. Well, to start off though, uh, unfortunately, Khaki's in pretty rough shape. Well, I mean, Khaki's a little bit dirty. But you would think it's indoors and it's out of the elements, but hell no. You, you guys already know, I've complained about it enough and I see the comments, people tell me to fix it. <laughs> so I'm not gonna complain about it, but it is a mess in here. I was gonna go ahead and just pull Khaki out and get it out front, but we don't have a whole lot of room out there, bro. So I figured I may as well just get the booth cleaned up and then I could actually just work on it out here. First thing we gotta do is get poor Khaki out of the way, man. This place about to get some spring cleaning, man. Speaking of spring cleaning, I'm wearing shorts today. It's actually been kind of getting warm here, bro. <laughs> Ugh. God, I'm not looking forward to summer. Good Lord. You know what also makes me feel like there's more than likely a wiring problem with this car? Is Khaki is one of those vehicles that always, no matter what, you let it sit for a long time, the battery dies. Look at this, you turn the key right now, bro, this battery is not dead. Those lights aren't even dim. In which you might be thinking to yourself, that's not a bad thing, right? But it is different. It was never like that before. Which tells me that whatever it is in Khaki that actually drains the battery is not getting a good enough connection in order to drain the battery. Maybe. I'm just <laughs> thinking out loud, bro. Need to order me a new dumpster. One that's got a freaking lid. This is from whenever we did the gate. Goodbye. One of Braven's Twisted Tees. <laughs> this is from whenever we painted the CRV. Goodbye. <sighs> trash, trash, trash. Trash, trash. Just so you guys know, this is kind of a um, this is kind of a hangout video, man. I'm trying to get something done. Well, I'm trying to get myself into a position where we're capable of working on khaki. Normally, doing something like cleaning up the uh, <laughs> the spray booth, I would just set the camera on a tripod out there, and it would just be a hyper lapse. Like shoom, 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 shoom. But still, it's gonna take me hours to clean up this damn spray booth and to get khaki cleaned up. Get to the point where I'm capable of actually working on it. I I have to. It's just I have to i can't i know a lot of people will come in here with this the mess the way it is and with khaki the way it is and just start working on it and i respect that bro i really do i'm glad you're capable of doing that i'm just not you know it, that, that's the reason why i say like this ocd thing whether you want to call it ocd or whatever you want to call it it's a gift and a curse at the same time something i've always struggled with could probably wash that but <laughs> trash i should keep these filters even though I want to throw them away. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep them. In a pinch, I'll definitely need them. Not going to lie, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this stuff here. Uh, this is the running boards for the Suburban, which I might use one day. Who knows? The front push bar that I had on the CRV, uh, extra set of tail lights for the Suburban or Braven's Yukon. I don't know. These are lower control arms off of the blazer oh yeah definitely off the blazer look at the freaking spray paint that stuff is never in my way right there my parts corner has plenty enough shit in it already that's another thing i need to do someday damn that's like full yeah empty uh, there's a little bit in there empty oh that's completely full. damn empty oh a full bottle of super clean what wow would you just look at that there's my work hoodie damn you know how long ago i lost my work hoodie this thing looks way better than my good hoodie now <laughs> man this one the drawstring for the hoodie got pulled out so it became my work hoodie that i didn't mind if i get little holes in it from you know, using a grinder or spots of paint. Bro, that thing has probably been out there for six months. Huh, the lights aren't on. Why aren't the lights on? Huh. Oh, 
Bam, we got lights, man. Just have to keep an eye on the cord and make sure it doesn't start melting. <laughs> Well, it's all cleaned up. I mean, it's uh, good enough. Got the floors all clean. Got it all, for the most part, dusted. Got my little workbench up here all cleared off, kind of. So all of this is all like hardware and like little bits and like the hinges and all of that as well is hardware and parts for my damn truck. <laughs> I don't even want to look at that stuff right now, bro. That will be a later date for sure. But um, anyhow, now I just need to get khaki cleaned up a little bit. And then we could push it back in here and... I think start taking some things apart to access some things. <laughs> there. Thing about khaki dude it might not always run great most certainly always cleans up great man every time i wash this thing it's like i just painted it yesterday i mean don't get me wrong you can most certainly use a buff to really bring that shine back but it is what it is i've been kind of thinking about re-clearing the hood and the mirrors the mirrors kind of have a dull look to them you know but anyhow moving on uh i have a theory of what it is i think might be going on with this car and it's going to require replacing some wires and then just trying it <laughs> so first thing i gotta do is go ahead and pull this fender off because i need to get to the wiring that's in behind it Can't open the damn door up all the freaking way to get to the other two tents, man. <sighs> Success is mine. So the theory that i am been thinking in my head is potentially the main power for uh, khaki, like this main power wire that comes off of the battery, in which, yeah, dude, you can see there is corrosion on that. It's kind of green. So that's what I'm thinking is maybe these things have like some corrosion. Not only that, but um, this wire I made myself. It's got the braided loom on it and stuff, and it looks really nice. Uh, I did all that, you know what I mean? So it's not like freaking spider webs, bro, and a spider that eats bees. Sucks the blood out of them. Jesus, Lord. Anyhow, uh, this wire goes, this is the main power wire. It goes from the battery and it runs through this frame rail, I guess you can call it. And then it comes out here and then that's where it goes in. It runs through this grommet right here. And I don't remember what this one is for. So this right here is an amp wire. <laughs> so the thing is, is like that wire that I used, if I remember correctly, it was a household, like, like, 100 like 120 volt power like for house type of wire so whenever you have 120 volts versus 12 volt uh, the wire is going to be a lot different so with house wire the strands that are on the inside of it you know whenever you you uh strip a wire it's a bunch of individual copper strands so household wire those strands on the inside are a lot thicker so to have this thick of a wire for household wire just to make numbers easy let's say there's only 10 strands on the inside of that 10 thicker copper strands on the inside to uh, make that thick of a wire where if it was automotive there would probably be like 50 strands or 100 strands it's a lot more thinner 
strand, but with the end goal of the same thickness wire, you know what I'm saying? So the weaker the voltage, the thinner you want those strands to be because it could pass through it easier. Uh, 120 volt, the strands are larger because it's a lot more voltage, you know what I'm saying? So I think I could be having a problem with this main power wire. Though realistically, you guys gotta remember, this is the same wire that's been on the car the entire time. Khaki was running good, like really good there for a while. Um, and then I started having these problems. So the only thing that I have not been over in this car would be that wiring, bro. Not only do I want to get the correct wire in here, um, I want to redo the way that it's ran. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to see it right now. There is a... Where is it at? I swear there's a breaker in here. Yeah, dude, you're not gonna be able to see anything in there right now. I gotta tear this all apart. But what I'm thinking is where where that wire comes in. So that wire comes in and then it's cut and it goes to like, from what I remember, it goes to a breaker. One of those like amplifier breakers, you know what I'm saying? Because like I mentioned, I've always had a problem with the battery dying on khaki. So I put one of those in there so I can hit that breaker cutting all the power so that then I don't have to, you know, whenever I'd come out from work, I didn't come out to uh, a dead battery all the time. Like that was years ago, whenever Khaki was still Tahitian Green Pearl. Um, and I continued that, uh, I used that same breaker. Anyhow, the power wire comes off the battery, it goes in and then it goes to that breaker. Um, and then from the breaker, it goes out the firewall and it goes to the starter. Um, and then I believe that there's another T that goes over to this whole uh like it goes over to this thing yep there it is right there that's that freaking amp wire so that's running over here to the main input power that goes to all these relays right here and that's like my fans my fuel pump uh like that push button start like all that kind of stuff is on that relay box bar um as well as like the nitrous uh bottle warmer etc um but then it also tees off somewhere and then runs over to the factory fuse box that i have in here so that's the factory fuse box that is normally you guys see it that right there so that's the factory fuse box that is normally inside of the engine bay so i've got a power wire also jumping over to that so basically there, there's a bunch of jumps there's a bunch of contact points where potentially there could be some corrosion and something could be getting a bad connection but not not consistently i think that's the reason why every time like i can mess with khaki i could work on it and then all of a sudden it'd be running good for a little bit but then all of a sudden it's not i think there's something that has a bad connection which also could be the reason why this thing has sat out here for a couple of months now and the battery's not dead since i have gotten this car the battery has always died when you would leave it for even two or three days, the battery. So whatever it is, even after tearing it down so many times and putting it all back together, um, it, that has always stayed there. So whatever that is that kills the battery, I'm under the impression maybe it is not getting contact right now from one of those jumps. It's not getting power to be able to drain the battery, you know? I don't know, this is just my theory, bro. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tear all this apart and I'm gonna get those main power wires out of there. Now, I don't have any wire to replace it with right now, um, but I wanna get them out and I wanna figure out what lengths I need. So that's what we're gonna do right now. There is no easy way to accessing that damn wiring underneath the dash, bro. Dude, khaki has always been so miserable to work on on the inside. I mean, there's no padding whatsoever. It's all metal. You have this freaking 
pinch point right here that's constantly trying to slice your ass. Uh, the high bolstering on the seats, there's no leaning on them or sitting in them, or there's no leaning or anything on them unless you're just full blown sitting in them. Uh, I mean, grip tape, you know? <laughs> now, after about an hour and a half later, and the sunlight later, we have freaking access to all the damn wiring. Dude, this is an absolute disaster, bro. This is just one of those things that no matter how many times I have done it, how many times I have tried, it is just never clean and organized to the you know to a point to where it satisfies me it just never is man anyhow time to tear it all apart <laughs> i'm not looking forward to this at all so i was wrong uh this wire right here that i thought was the power run to the battery that is actually fans the power wire for the fuel pump that uh amp wire that is actually what's running to the battery so <sighs> i don't know man i mean that seems like a good enough wire to me i mean put in the comments what you guys think should i replace this it doesn't look like it's in bad shape i mean it's an amp wire Either way, this wiring definitely needs some help. I kind of said screw it and just absolutely took everything out because it is a nightmare underneath here. So any other time I've done this wiring, I think for the most part, like it has been, like I, I try to do it as good as I can, but it has always been kind of a rush, you know? Um, Khaki has always been like the main vehicle on the channel, especially back whenever we were doing like all this work. So I think since, um khaki has been you know having some downtime i ought to uh just go ahead and redo all of this and just try to take my time do it right this time um not cut any corners and and hopefully not end up with this rat's nest of crazy you know what i'm saying so so not only um like i mean don't get me wrong i've done the majority of this but a lot of times whenever i was working on this kind of stuff well especially the the nitrous wiring and stuff like that i've had um like junior was down here messing with stuff uh my cousin whenever he used to come around he was down here messing with stuff uh you know like there, there's been multiple people that has have hit has had hands on this stuff down here just to get things to work you know especially the nitrous so i don't know sometimes things just tend to get a little messy whenever you have multiple people working on one thing and yeah this most certainly has like become an absolute disaster <laughs> anyhow like i said i'd really like to redo all this i need to do some ordering i want to get like a good quality wire i'm going to order from the the company that braven used to get all of his wiring from whenever he is doing the uh, harnesses the fuel pump harnesses uh he knows what, what i can't think of what website it is but he knows which one it is they have all the like mil spec wiring and stuff it's kind of expensive but um i i really just want to do this right you know what i'm saying and i want to get rid of definitely want to get rid of ghetto stuff like that you know that's just a, one of those amp fuses uh, and then over the course of time we have like jumped off of it for power to different things uh there like this is my relay for my fuel pump and it has like the male female connectors i went to go and unplug this and the wire just pulled right out of that crimp connector you know stuff like that bro like it's just a mess and it's not right and i just want to get it right so anyhow guys that's pretty much all that i have time for tonight unfortunately so i know we didn't get anything done today but i at least made some steps in the right direction uh, got a lot of got a lot of stuff torn down, you know, it's gonna be a slow process This isn't gonna happen overnight, especially if I want to do it right and I want to do everything nice and clean It's freaking wiring you guys all know but at least I'm starting on it You know what I'm saying and got the booth all cleaned up So I have a nice place to work on khaki out here Hopefully it doesn't rain because if it does I'm gonna be scrambling to get all this into the garage <laughs> hey, y'all, uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. As you guys are watching this, it's actually my daughter's birthday. It's Haley's birthday. Uh, for me, it's not till tomorrow. So I still have some things that I need to do to get ready for that. So that's the reason why I am out of time for tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out and I'll see you tomorrow.